Hello beautiful! Yes, I am back with another video, the second one of this week, oh my gosh! Well, I am super excited to let you guys know that I have created some monthly stickers for the Hobonichi cousin, to be honest. I've been tired of just looking at these monthly pages and don't know what to do with them or use on them. So I just decided to make a kit myself. As you can see in my December, I tried using one of my hobo, not even hobo kits, one of my weekly kits and it just didn't seem right. So I was just fed up and just wanted to make something of my own and here it is and I've created. So this is the sidebar here. It's not the full length of the sidebar. Um, the reason is that because of these two bottom washies is for the full length of the two pages. So that's why I didn't make the sidebar two full lengths. So on the other side, all these second page stickers, these are actually little blocks, block stickers for the dates, which you will see. And there are two tiny headers for the days of the week. And um, it's not dated or week dated, so there's no words on it. And these are for your monthly box to cover the gray box up there. And this could be used for any month, and that's why I left them blank, and you could just fill it in yourself. So let's try this out. I haven't, to be honest, um, testing this out yet because I don't have a second Hobonichi to test it out on. So this is my first try on camera, so bear with me if there's any mistakes. So next week we'll be doing a new release on January 21st, that's a Friday. We'll be releasing weekly kits and now these new monthly kits. I've already created five new weekly kits. Um, but this monthly, I think I'm going to add a few more because I just love them so much and it was just so fun to create. So here I am, um, I just wrote down the month of January and now I'm just putting down the sidebar. I just want to show you that I use this to cover the top gray part. It's the reason for that is because at the end of the month, January 31st, it's at the bottom of the washi area. and. I didn't want to move that down there because I do have the bottom washi to cover that. So I'm just going to place the month up here to indicating that it is for the month of January. Next I'm going to do the days of the week but then I realized like wait a minute why is this not the full one and that it somehow got cut off here. So this is where I have to also tweak it and redo and edit it before we could put it on. So as I said, this is my first time using a kit. I think I put a cut mark there unintentionally and it will be fixed for sure. So yes, let's go with this one first, which is for this side of pages because it is shorter because we have a three day week on the left page and a four day week on the other page. Next, I'm going to place my bottom washi. As I was explaining before that the 31st is actually at the bottom where near the bottom washies are. So I'm just going to add this part here, then going to cut it because of the date of the 31st there and continuing it after that date. So here you could stop anytime because your monthly is well decorated. However, I didn't make these boxes to cover um, dates that doesn't belong to the month. So here you could see the months of De um, December and I believe there are five days to cover. But also you could use these boxes to just decorate your calendar on days that's nothing really happening or even on special days up to you. So right now I'm just randomly putting boxes The kit will have three different headers for you guys to choose to fill in. The extra two headers, I just use it as indication of special dates, for example, anniversaries or birthdays. Here I'm just using it for a birthday that's happening this Friday. Mm -hmm. 
for the dates that I have covered with the boxes, I'm just going to put in date dots so I know what date it is. I've also added three little header bars here that you could use in your monthly calendar as tabs or anything or decorative elements. I'm just adding it onto this date here just to give it a little decoration <laughs> and to have to put the date dot on too. And lastly, I'm just going to write in the days of the week on the top bar. And here we go. Yay, I really love this look. Like, it's so much better. And I feel very resolved now that I know that I can do my monthlies in a decorative pretty way now. also want to let you guys know that any unused boxes from your monthly kit, you can use it for your weekly view. They fit perfectly in your weekly column. In my last video, I indicated that I didn't know how to use my daily or how to lay it out. So this week I did something different. I played around with it. So with the headers, as you can see, I've decorated it. I also had split the section into two using our vertical washi here. And I like it so far our monthly i love as i said love 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 how this turned out no more headaches for me next friday we will be revealing our new kits for the new releases five new weekly kits for regular and hobonichis and also five new hobonichi monthly kits i hope you guys enjoy this video i was so excited to show you our new monthly and i will see you in my next video bye